Hello, hello! As you can see from the title of this video, it's time to get back to Magical Girls! Woo! Today I'm gonna be smashing together the designs of two legendary Magical Girls and making them into one cohesive design. I'm actually gonna be doing two designs, so we'll be working with four legendary Magical Girls today. Enough numbers, let's get to the first design. But first, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my weekly live streams. They're right here on my YouTube channel and you're invited! I've been working on some new pages of my webtoon, but I also do some other character design stuff too. I don't really have a streaming schedule at the moment, so keep your eye on the community tab and I'll see you there. Now back to the video. For the first design, I knew I wanted to do Sailor Moon, who is arguably the most famous magical girl ever. I selected Mew Ichigo from Tokyo Mew Mew as the second character to combine with her, since she's also extremely well known, and for a few other reasons I'll get into later. Now let's get to sketching. For the first sketch, I just took various elements from each character and kept adding them in. Ichigo's bangs, Sailor Moon's dress, etc. I also made it a point with the first one to use all the colors in both designs, even if it wasn't working out super well. I figured by seeing what wasn't working, I'd be able to get a better idea of what would work for the next pass. For the second sketch, I really tried to bring all the elements together. I focused more on making this design cohesive and also unique. One thing that concerned me a little bit with the second pass is that the long pink pigtails read more Chibi Moon, but in the final version I think I'm able to solve that problem by adjusting the ear placement and the size of them. When I finished both of these sketches, I had to stop to laugh. I felt like I had designed the ultimate 2000s OC. Like, she's a pink-haired cat girl in a sailor uniform, I think I checked all the boxes. Going into my final illustration, I made sure to bring that energy of silliness into the design. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm not only smashing magical girls together, but also their weapons. This ended up being pretty easy for these two, since the moon kaleidoscope already has a heart shape in the center. All I really had to do is make it fuzzy and add the elements from Ichigo's Strawberry Bell onto it. The one thing that stumped me for a moment was where to put the bell, but I quickly came to the solution of putting it inside the handle of the wand and having that area of the wand be see-through, which would also look pretty cool as a plastic toy. Alright, now that we have her weapon, we can move on to the final illustration. For the pose for this character, I really wanted to ham it up and make it a cutesy cat girl pose that also shows off her weapon. I make sure to take my time and really nail the pose down before moving on to the final version of the sketch. I don't always add color to my sketches, but it felt really helpful in this case with placing everything and making sure all the elements stood out against each other. Especially with how pink this design was, I felt it was important to have a solid idea of the finished illustration before diving into the line art. With the line art, I use lots and lots of layers for easy erasing if something needs to be adjusted. I also keep track of different elements, like the stripes on her boots by using a different color. Coloring this character was so satisfying. There's nothing like putting pink everywhere, it just makes everything look so cute! I decided to make the cat ears and tail white, because I felt the black would be too dark for this design. I wanted this character to be super bright, and I felt the white lended itself better than that than the black. With the shading, I wanted to keep it looking very bold and graphic, so I opted to do very minimal shading. Seeing how pink this whole design is, I'm extra glad I went with blue for her eyes. It creates this oasis of blue in a vast desert of pink. And with the power of video editing, our first mashup magical girl is done! I absolutely love her. She just screams early aughts and I am here for it. I'm not too sure what to go with for a name for her. My thoughts were Sailor Mew or maybe Mew Moon? Let me know in the comments what you think I should call her. Now, let's move on to our second mashup magical girl of the day. Goodness, that was a mouthful. For my second character, I picked to fuse Cardcaptor Sakura and Doremi from Ojimaja Doremi. I specifically picked the outfit from the first Cardcaptor opening and Doremi's look from Dokkan, because I felt the different elements would lend themselves well to each other. For my sketches, I took a similar approach to the first design. 
but I definitely felt a bit more confident with it this time around. I think it helped that I had a better idea going in of what I wanted the character to feel like. With the first design, it was more vague sailor cat girl idea, but with this one I knew I wanted to do a very cute young witch character. One of the reasons I picked the characters the way I did was because I wanted to combine characters with similar ages. Older magical girl characters have a different vibe to their designs. So for this younger character, I knew I wanted to stick to young, cutesy, girly vibes. I ended up really liking both of my rough sketches. I feel like both capture that super pretty energy all of Clamp's designs have, while also bringing in some of Doremi's childlike whimsy and silliness. The design I end up going with for this one is the second one. I do do a teensy bit of tweaking off screen, but it wasn't anything too crazy. Let's move on to the weapon. This one was definitely a bit more tricky since the silhouettes of the weapons are so different. I decided I wanted to keep the length of the ceiling wand as well as that iconic bird-like shape on top. I brought in the elements of the jewelry pull-on by adding the middle section with the crystal and some of the detailing. From there, I was just modifying the colors to make them more cohesive. Now that we have our cool witch staff, let's move on to the finished design. I had a bit of a struggle figuring out how to pose this character. I wanted something fun and energetic, but I also wanted to make sure I didn't cover up too many elements of the design. I also had a ton of reference pictures off screen to make sure I was getting the shapes and look of both designs correct. Doing the cleaned up sketch for this one was super important since there were so many tiny details and lace and all of that good clamp stuff. Once I finished up the cleaner sketch, I dive into the line art. The nice thing about line art is you can just put on a show or a movie in the background and just go to town. I find that I have a harder time sketching if there's too much going on in the background, but doing line art is the exception to that because I'm just going over what's already there and can kind of just turn my brain off in a sense. Moving on to colors, I decided to go with Sakura's hair color and Doremi's eye color. I felt that the pink hair in the first sketch just made it look too much like Doremi and was making my brain go into pinkness overload. In general with this design, I kept the colors closer to Sakura's original look just to help keep everything cohesive. And it looks like we're done with our second mashup magical girl. I'm torn if I like her better than the first one. I love her cute witch hat and her shoes. For her name? Um... Would she be Cardcaptor Dorani? Or maybe Ojimaja Sakura? Let me know what you suggest in the comments below. <laughs> and here are our two finished fusion magical girls. God me with alliteration in this video. I love how they both turned out. They're both so fun and cute and very, very pink. Are there any characters you think would be fun to mash together? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to try this again sometime. It was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more silly design adventures. And check me out on my socials for more of my art. The links are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.